Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we're going to be opening some mystery bags of jewellery. This one has been sent in through my PO box so thank you to whichever subscriber sent that in, I'm really grateful. I've also got some smaller bags that have come in through my high street retail stores for recycling as well so we'll see what we can find. I'm going to be looking for things that I can upcycle into new pieces as well as vintage jewellery that I can restore and resell in my Etsy, eBay, Poshmark and retail stores. If you like what you see please don't forget to like and subscribe below. Let's dive in. So this is the subscriber donation, that's actually really hard to say, that came in the post. This has come in from my PO box, so if you ever have anything that you'd like me to unbox on the channel, you can send it in to the address that's in my description. This has come in a really beautiful little handmade bag with a teddy on it. Super cute. So let's see what we've got inside. Okay. We've got some little pieces of something that's broken. Those are gold in colour but have verdigris. So I think those are costume pieces that have come off of something else. Let's pop that to one side in case we find a match for it. So well, these are lovely beads. So these are just plastic, but they sort of have that gemstone look. So those can be used to be to make something else. Those are cool. Similar with these ones, yeah, these are plastic as well, but very pretty and sparkly, so those will make nice earrings. I've got a bit of a tangle here. These are shell that have been dyed, so again, those probably will be made into earrings. Like those. These ones are a pretty glass. Ah, this, this is where those pieces have come off, I think. Yes. So I may fix that. Else those beads will be used for something else. More lovely glass. These are a gorgeous turquoise colour. Like those ones. This is a person after my own heart with all these lovely beads. We've got some limey green and yellow. We've got a tantalising looking box there, so we'll open that one in a second. That's just a plastic bead to look like stone and another one. Ah, that earring matches the shell necklace. Oops, and there's another one there. They look like they could be silver hooks. Let's just have a quick check with the magnet. That's the head pin that's called the magnet. So I think those probably are silver on the hooks. This is really cute. 90s slash Y2K seed bead choker necklace. Really sweet. They're back in again at the moment. And this is nice glass. It looks a bit like amber, but it's very heavy. It's definitely glass. Lots of beads here for upcycling. And this one is Marks and Spencers. Those are cute little charms. I do love it when I've got these ready wrapped on head pins. So those will either be made into earrings or possibly charms. And a matching bracelet. That's cool. And a bit of lamp work glass. Look at that. Really pretty. Oh, I love these little crystal ones. Could that be silver? I don't think it is. It's not magnetic though. It might be. I'll clean that up with the cloth and perhaps test that because that could be silver. And that could go onto a chain maybe. Let's see what's in this box. I recognise this from um, Argos, Elizabeth Duke. Wow, we have some gold. Oh my goodness, look at this lovely gold pendant. It's a St. Christopher and it says Precious Friend. It's engraved on the back. It's not just what you've done for me that makes me love you so. It's all the joy of who you are, the friend I've come to know. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
and there's some markings up here shall we see if that tallies with the nine carat sticker yes yeah, so we have a 375 and some lovely makers marks up the top there it's on a chain as well look at that tiny weeny little clasp and i can see that has a 375 on as well and there was no note in with this package so whoever you are a huge thank you if you would like to make yourself known um so that i can thank you properly please do that's so generous i don't really know what to say gold in the post amazing thank you <laughs> what else have we got in here there's a few more little packets to open and then we'll move on to some of the donations that have come into my shops those are earring backs and those are marked with a 95 so they're sterling silver i actually needed to order some more sterling silver backs so that's really helpful and i can see there's some gold colored ones as well can't see any marks on those ones so they may be just a gold tone mind you they're not magnetic so i'll need to have a really close look at those and maybe do an acid test. <laughs> oh, this is sad, look. <laughs> These earrings have lost their whatever was on them. I wonder if those are silver. I wouldn't have thought they would be. No, they're not silver. And we've got matching earrings for that glass necklace. So those will probably just go onto new hooks and go into one of my shops. What's this in here? That's a lovely gemstone. Could it be jade? I think it might be jade or jadeite. We'll test that with the Presidium and see. That would be really nice. I'll probably put that onto a jump ring and put it onto a chain because I think it deserves more than this cord that it's on. Wow, very generous. Thank you very much. Let's have another look in some bits that have come into the shops. So let's put this one out. Sorry, that was probably really noisy. We have a really pretty bracelet and I think a necklace. Where's this from? Oh, it's a Claire's Accessories one. Oh, these are these are cool. This looks more like Marks and Spencer's jewellery to me than Claire's Accessories. Um, I will probably use these to make earrings because I love those flowers. And I'll have a think on this one. They would make quite cool earrings as well, wouldn't they? They're a, like a faux coral. Super pretty. And then I've got a box here which has been marked beads. So let's see what's in here. That's lovely. So I think that these are a gemstone. I'll need to check them on the Presidium to see what they are. If you know, please do let me know in the comments as ever. They actually have a feel of glass. So perhaps they're an agate. Oh, maybe they are glass. So those are fused together. Yes, I think they are glass. They do look like gemstone though, don't they? Those are really pretty. I think given that that's a vintage necklace, that may stay as it is. This is pretty. We've got a vintage style clasp. And what are these? Glass maybe. And these look like moonstone, but I think they're opalite glass. I'll double check that on the Presidium, but they're heavy and they have that noise. They sound like glass, don't they? That's another pretty vintage one. We've got a big chunk of a gemstone that looks like a dark tiger's eye, like a blue tiger's eye maybe, but please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. We've got some marbles. Now I did wire wrap some marbles a couple of summers ago and I had planned to put them into production, but I just haven't had time. They did take me a long time to wrap. So that is for a future project. These are some cabochons. Oh, no, that one's not a cabochon. This one is. <laughs> that one's almost like a little dish, isn't it? Very cute. Um, but I assume that is for sticking onto the jewellery. There's some more of them. 
those are really pretty um they are glass lovely i'll have to find a use for those oh look at these beautiful malachite gemstones let's take a couple out so that you can see them on the camera those are lovely they will most likely be turned into rings i do love to wire wrap my rings i've got a vintage clip on sparkly earring that's another one of those very sweet vintage necklace i love these clasps where they're made of the matching stone i think this is mother of pearl that's really pretty i won't cut that one up oh more malachite and that's got a really cool clasp look at that beautiful that again i think will stay as it is rather than be cut up and <laughs> check out these 80s beauties wow they're so cool those will likely just go onto new hooks and either into my etsy shop or one of my retail stores funny that one of them has tarnished silver and the other one has tarnished gold <laughs> they're slightly mismatched but i think somebody will still love those so we didn't find the matching earring to that one. That will need to be made into something else. We've got a few loose beads. And this one looks like shell. It actually looks like tortoise shell, but I don't think it can be. I can't remember what this shell is called. Again, shout at me in the comments if you know. That's another cute 90s style piece, or I suppose it could even be 70s, couldn't it? Okay, that's a nice one. What else have we got? Broken jewellery left for the lady who makes new stuff with it. I love that. <laughs> I might keep that. That's fun. Let's see what's in here. Box. Now, I'm not sure if this is all from one person or if the shop has bundled things into one bag. But we will never know now. Beautiful shell. Wow, that takes me back. Who remembers these? That's a film canister. And we've got some really pretty beads. Let's take a out and have a look. Oh, this was probably a necklace at the guess. Or possibly a necklace and a bracelet. I like these little teal beads. And there's a nice enamel one there. Those are cute. I shall use those for something else. How nice to see a film canister. There's another little bag here. That has a broken necklace. That's a Marks and Spencer's one. And those beads will most likely go into my children's workshops. There's a couple of extras in the bottom of the bag as well. There's another broken something or other. So again, I'll reuse those beads. What's in the box? Let's have a look. We've got a stretchy. Another loose stretchy. And do remember, if you haven't seen it before, on the channel, there is a video that shows you how to restring. Well, it is, it's, it was designed to make your own upcycled bracelets, but you can use it to restring anything that's lost its stretchy like these. And I'll drop a link to that up here. These are fun glass beads. So those have been handmade. They've got the look of recycled glass about them. Love those. Very cool. Whoops, that one has actually broken in the box. Those ones are likely to go into a children's workshop. They love these cat's eye beads. There's a few loose wooden ones. There's another one of those enamel ones. What have we got here? Oh, that's a chain necklace. 
and one of its chains has broken that's a simple fix I might just put a pendant on that that's useful some more stretchies that has all popped I think probably in the box so those will all go into reuse for something or other children's workshops or for me to make into other things I've got another box here it's got contact details on the top so I won't show you that what have we got here this looks like silver yes we've got 925 there that's a nice bullet shaped hoop that one can be cleaned up and sterilized got a Y2K style chandelier earring. These were so big in the early noughties when I worked, I used to work as a retail manager for Claire's and we used to sell loads of these. So I've got quite a lot in my personal collection as well. I can see a mark here. What does this say? In England, it says, whatever that was has broken, but those lovely glass beads can be reused. This has got a mark on it too. Let me just have a look at that. That I thought was a mark, but it's not. It's just where whoever has put the jump ring together has they've kind of marked it with their pliers. So this is something that has broken, chains all attached to each other. But again, the beads can re be reused. That's that one. This has the look of silver. It says WS. Is that what that says? Ah, oh, white stuff, that probably is. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. So, probably not silver in that case. No, not silver. But those could make some cool earrings. So, I will reuse those. Oh, here's another one of those bullet shapes like that earring. So here we have, then it must be a matching sterling silver pendant. And it's just got a broken chain that just needs a new clasp so I can replace that to fix it. That's really cool, isn't it? Like that one. I wonder if the other earring is in here. Can we see it? more of that necklace let's have a look at this one that looks like it might have a silver mark on it let's have a quick look yes that one's got a 925 on it but it is broken and sadly that isn't one I can fix so what I will do is I'll take the clasp off that one to fix the other one with and we'll have a complete bracelet and then the rest of that sorry a complete necklace and the rest of that chain can be scrapped then and then the rest of that is all loose beads cute oh what did we drop here that's a hand wire wrapped possibly anklet and i can see that has a 925 marking on the clasp there as well so that just needs a really good clean and something here has come off so i shall cut the rest of that off probably had one hanging one yeah just needs a little repair oh i see it's broken one of its pieces is broken there so i can repair that as well excellent and an earring which the beads can be reused okay shall we see what else we've got another bag here so these these things have been coming in sort of in dribs and drabs and I've just been popping them into a drawer they're all smaller bags so I thought it'd be fun to open them together there are some crayon buttons those are really fun aren't they I can make something fun out of those some glass which are all on little um, turned loops already so those can easily be made either into charms or earrings some wooden beads those are buttons they look like wood but they're plastic there's some vintage buttons 
and some more buttons okay so i need to get creative with those let's grab another bag this looks like an interesting box so we've got some very fine beading it's like fishing line and then some really cool plastic beads let's just get that to focus there you go so you can see they're all plastic but they're that nice vintage they're probably 80s possibly 90s and these are really fun i like those i might make some vintage style earrings out of those that's cool and then let me check out what's left in here okay we've got a little pot that's a cute little pot oh these are monopoly pieces i think aren't they <laughs> Those are really sweet. I don't know how we would hang those. Oh, that one, the lucky boot, could definitely be hung into an earring and so could the iron. So I think I will do that with those. That would be quite fun. And then that's a whole set of little pieces. And then some really pretty gemstones. They look like they've come off one of those bracelets where you glue them on. Super pretty that with the other gemstones this is a fun key ring look at this it's got pom-poms and animals and all sorts it's quite badly squished here, so it's not for resale, but that one will be really fun to go into my children's workshops. I think that's probably what I'll do with that. Cut that one up. This bracelet I get in almost on a weekly basis, and I've got all sorts I've had it with all sorts of different gemstones. This is goldstone, which is actually glass. So people think that it's a gemstone, but it's actually made of glass. Um, these are by Charmology. I don't believe they're real silver. I think they're silver plated and they often come in black like this with slack elastic, unfortunately. But that charm is still serviceable. So that one will be cut up and used for other things. That's a super sparkly earring, isn't it? I've got a pair for that one. Yeah, I'll probably just hang those from a new hook. Some leaves. I love making leaf earrings in the autumn. So that's what those will be used for. Got two necklaces tangled up here. This one has the look of Mark Spencer's. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> that's a really pretty, it's a bit... I think it's a bit bent out of shape but it's got a really pretty dangle on it that might just need a little bit of love and then can go into pre-loved that's really pretty this is very badly tarnished plating or loss of plating that's M&S as well I don't think that one is recoverable because it's gone so black and it's not silver so it's not going to come back from that and then we've got some pearls. No, they're faux pearls. The paint has come off. <laughs> so the beads for that will go into the children's workshops. Okay, one more little bag for today. Let's see what's in here. These have come in from so many different people. Um, so thank you all. If you drop these into the shop and you didn't get a discount voucher, make sure you ask when you next go in because you get a discount off your next purchase. These look like they've come off a stretchy panel bracelet, so that just needs re-stretching. Or I could make them into earrings. They would make quite cool earrings, wouldn't they? These are pretty. 
Oh, look at that one. Love that colour. Purple and teal is just my perfect colour combo. I love it. More of those panels. This is by Envy. It's new with its tag on, look. Is it one piece? Yeah, it's all one piece. It's a very long necklace with really pretty flowers on it. Just needs flattening back out. They are plastic, but really pretty. I don't know if I've got the heart to cut that one up. I'll have a think about that. Envy jewellery. I might look up that brand as well. I don't think it's an expensive one, but super pretty. Thank you so much for joining me for another unboxing. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. I'll pop some videos up so that you can watch something else next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.